Well, welcome back to our RKG video series. I'm Matt Merzieski. I'm the EVP of SEO at RKG. Today I'd like to talk to you about the paid and organic report that Google has put out and you can find inside of AdWords. So what is it? The paid and organic report is a compilation of all queries that you rank for for both paid and organic listings and it's put into one place. That's helpful because you can look at and assess how you are displayed for certain queries across paid and organic listings on the SERP. Now, the information is sourced from Google Webmaster Tools, and so it's important to note that you should connect your AdWords and Google Webmaster Tools accounts as soon as possible. Google does not store this data historically inside of AdWords, but the moment you connect the two accounts together, they will start keeping and collecting that information going back into, into history. So please do that. And you would also need to do it for all uh, domains that you own and subdomains as it will be listed within a drop down menu inside of AdWords. So if you take nothing else, do that now uh, within your accounts. The differentiating item within the paid and organic report is that the Google Webmaster Tools data, where it is sourced from, is not limited to the top 2,000 or a selection of keywords and queries within the organic listings that you match for. Instead, it is the full listing of all queries that you match for on organic listings. Now, why is that important and why should I then use this report? Again, that differentiating item helps us bypass the problem of the not provided secure search change that Google made in the past few years. By being able to see all of the keyword data, there are really three main benefits and takeaways in your analysis of your keyword and query information within organic search specifically. Number one, you can look at that granular keyword level data and help bypass the issue of brand versus non-brand distinction, where you may see particular spikes in brand traffic volume from month to month that may be masked in the aggregate data that is lost in the overall traffic without looking at keyword specific information. Number two, you can test the incrementality of search amongst paid and organic listings where your listings may be present for both for a given query. The removal of a paid ad, what impact does it have on the overall traffic volume for that query? Similarly, the addition of a paid ad, how much additional incremental traffic is gained by inserting that ad in the top placement, even if you have an organic listing that is also highly ranking on the first page of the SERP. Number three, it can allow for you for an, a vehicle for you to explore uh, keyword gaps in either program. You may have instances where uh, you rank highly in organic but do not have any paid ad presence. And adding that in may in fact add to the overall value of the program. And similarly, you may have gaps in other areas of your organic program where your paid ad uh, program has strong performance. So these are just a few areas to explore within the paid and organic report sourced directly from Google's authoritative voice. It's a very handy report. I encourage you to, to check it out and use it for analysis and opportunities. And again, connecting the two accounts together now should be something that you look into immediately. So thanks and have a great day.